And then God came to Abraham. Go. Didn't God, 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 said, Abraham? God said that I, I will give you. Question. I asked you How a question. Did, your side? did God appear to Abraham? The yeah. virgin will be pregnant. Is it written in Israel? No, it's not. No. Do you read Hebrew? Do you speak Hebrew? Okay. Guys, do you speak Hebrew? But after two minutes, he will say, not every Jew he says something you believe him. <laughs> so in one hand, the one who speak Hebrew he have the upper hand. But if other Jew don't agree with him, he don't speak Hebrew obviously. He's the only one who speak Hebrew. <laughs> Do you speak Hebrew? Yeah, Abdul, so you are teaching uh, the Jews about what Muhammad teach. Do you speak Arabic? Do you read Arabic? Uh, do you know Aramaic? You, what the heck? This guy is a scholar in Islam. He was teaching them that uh, the Muslims don't uh, believe that uh, kissing black stone uh, and uh, touching black stone erase their sin. No, no, this is a lie the Christian they made. Touching it, all their sins are forgiven. The answer is no. The answer is no. I mean, this guy is fluent in all languages. He is like the Hussein, the grandson of Muhammad. He speaks 75 million languages. He's like Ali. He was in Japan and China and Iraq in the same time. Three places in one place, in the same time, same moment. And he was eating breakfast in every country of those countries. He ate one breakfast in three countries in the same time. Brother, the answer no. Tell us more. Tell us more. Hamster. Do you speak any Hebrew? No, no, I'm speaking. So how do you know if you don't speak Hebrew? How do you know this? I'm speaking of so is it he, I know. I say. Does it mean that like someone who can? It's written in Chinese. It's not written in. Uh, it's not written in Isaiah that God no, will give it's you. It's a lie. Sign. No. Is it lie? I'm answering well, it, and you don't seem to so. want the answer because you want your idolatry. So let's think about it. Mm -hmm. It says, "Lachain yitin Hashem l'chavos, he ne ha alma harbi in this bed." Guys, so he is saying that the word alma, it doesn't mean a version, but just to let us go with him. Behold, the young woman is with a child, and she will bear son. And he shall be called his name Emmanuel. So this son is God. He is Emmanuel. What, what am I going to mean? God with us. He's us. He's, he's here. This is what Emmanuel means. God is here with us. He's not there. He's with us. Now, if we analyze their false, let us say true translation of the meaning. What is the miracle about a young woman giving birth? All young women give birth. Young women, you see, you just said young and women, which means she is not a child. All young women, the second we say women, that means what? That means she have uh, her puberty. She have her, her, her uh, 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 menstruation. So she is a woman. We will go with their, their translation. She is a woman and she is young. And why she is called human, human, woman? Because simply she have her menstruation. Okay, what is the miracle there? All women who have menstruation, unless they have a health problem, they can bear a child. What is the miracle? What is the sign? If this is the sign, that the sign happens every day. Every second. Are you with me? Do you see how they lie? How this is, can be a sign? You know, when we say a sign, we are speaking about something very unique. So the people will know that this is the one who they are waiting for. If the word young women is what it's meant there, 
then there is no sign for all young women as long as they are women they will give birth same time the word alama the word alama they are they keep saying that the word mean here have nothing to do with being a virgin if you go to exodus chapter 2 maybe somebody can help and pause the verse let me open it hold on let me find it i don't remember which verse but give me a second i think verse number eight In that verse, if you go to the Hebrew, uh, Hebrew, Hebrew, the, the, the Jewish uh, 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 Bible, not, not uh, even translated, or even the Orthodox Jews, Jews, not Christians, just Jews, you will see that Maryam, Maryam, the sister of Moses, the sister of Aaron, she was called Alama. Why? Because simply she is a virgin. This is why the word there is used is specifically, let me see if I can open the Jewish, uh, uh, let me see, hold on, give me a second. Jewish. There is Orthodox Jewish Bible. Okay. Let us see what the Orthodox Jewish Bible says. Here we go. Let me show you. This is the Orthodox Jewish Bible. This is not the Christian translation. This is Orthodox. You see it? This is the verse. And that Pharaoh said to her, Go and ha-lama, alama, which means the, 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 uh, uh, the woman, this woman who is Maryam, go and do this. Why she was called such a word? Because she never had sex. She is a virgin. It's like when you say, you know, like in, 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 in Hebrew, uh, the, the second you say she is not married, that means she is not, uh, she is virgin. Otherwise, she is, you know, she committed a great sin. So that description will not be given to a young woman unless she is a woman she never experienced sex. She never had sex, which is a virgin. In fact, even the same sentence, the same word is given to men. Like David. So David, when he had no, he had never had a woman before. He was called the same word. But, you know, like when you say to a female is different when you say it to a, to a male. So this potato, when he is speaking, Claiming that this one is just a female woman who is young. He is a fabricator with no shame. They have no shame. Anyone who have little brain, he will ask himself, okay, where is the miracle here? Why David was called Elam or Alama, the same Elam. The masculine word of Alama. Because simply he never had a woman. He himself still a virgin. 
virginity is not necessarily about a, a woman only it's about men and women the word virgin is not really for men or women is for someone never had any sex experience simply never had sex as simple as that in Genesis 24 you will see that Isaac future wife Rebecca what she was called virgin what version what the word is used there alama let me let me go hold on I, I don't want to make the video long like opening verses will make take us uh, longer but you know it's worth it for the sake of education was the wife of Isaac a virgin or not every single Jew will agree how we know where, where it says she was a virgin where it says she was a virgin what the word virgin there is it a young woman only if a young woman she can be a woman she slept with many men again the Jewish Bible and this is Alama this is Rebecca Rebecca who was a virgin when she came to her husband she covered her face why she cover her face the tradition is that a woman she never met a man never know a man never slept with a man she is a shy person she have her own way to express her shyness she never met a man so she cover her face with you know like what you see like in the wedding these days many people do not know even why they do that why why in the wedding you know you will see somebody have like a see-through uh, uh, cover because she is shy and she knew now she will be a, a, a wife for this husband and now she is lawful for him and he is lawful for her still because she is a virgin this alama she is covering her face when she enter into the husband all the street she is not covered when she arrived there she covered her face why because she is a bride and she is a virgin she never knew a man which means when the husband he go inside the tent he meet his wife he is the first one to lift up the cover on her face no man before him are you with me guys are you are, do you understand what I'm saying why she is called Alama she is Alama now because she is not in the tent of Isaac yet she is not yet having sex after she have sex she is not Alama no more she is the same person she did not get older you know she is not uh, <laughs> she did not get 10 years older it's the same person without sex and after sex so do you see how they lie and this is I am showing you the Jewish Bible this is not the Christian translation this is Orthodox Jews those are the one who spit at the Christians those are the one who spit at the Christians when they see them in Jerusalem so do you see how easy to get them busted they played dumb they are the same as the Abdul when you talk to them 
they play them when they want. But anyway, uh, we cannot prove that Jesus is the one is born of a virgin that make him the Messiah. Be why one verse? We have tons of prophecies about him in the Bible. Actually, all of us we knew about the forbidden chapter in the Old Testament to the Jews which every single Jew hate to read, and even they, many of them, they print not that chapter. Why? Because simply, it is clearly speaking about the Messiah. Let us continue with the video of this coward. I honestly, I hate to talk about this man, but you know those people they are they have no shame and you know sometimes i feel like my job is as someone who work for the city hall and he is the one who cleaned the garbage from the city it's a job they don't like but somebody have to do clean the garbage somebody have to do it and i ask anyone and i you know i ask the muslim by the way I mean, how you say in your comment for this video that you love this guy and he is denying the virginity of Mary, which means he is denying your prophet to be truthful. I cannot express how stupid you Muslims are. How you say in the comment section, I cannot express more love to you for the knowledge you have to weave a singer. I am a Muslim from Saudi Arabia. I'm a Muslim from Pakistan. Pakistan. He just got your prophet busted if this is true. Mr. Pakistan. Let us continue. Thing. How do you say a virgin in Hebrew? Betula, thank you. It doesn't say Betula, does it? But you were raised in Iran. You didn't learn Hebrew. Ah, ah, you raised, you raised there. You don't know, you don't know. In fact, the same word is even used in Arabic. But the same word you mentioned there is a virgin and you are a coward. Have you ever heard of a language have only one word for one thing? Like the same thing, just one word? Like how many, how many words the Jews they have for God? Huh? Hashem, Adonai, Elohim. So why you don't say the same for that one? Then say, okay, there's only one word, we version. That's it. There's no other word. There's no other words. That's our, our language is limited. That's it. There's, this is the only word for version. Same time, when we speak about that the virgin is giving birth, to a son, and that son will be called Emmanuel. What that son, who is the son, if we ask this guy, who is this person? Who is this person? If it's not Christ, the one we knew, who is he? And when is going to happen when your Jewish women, they are sleeping around and everybody having boyfriend and girlfriend? If there is any versions left in your society, you potato? You live like the Muslims, you do muta. Women, they go behind the wall and they turn, t t take off their panty and they do it in the wrong location and yet they claim to be virgins. And if they do it from the front, they buy a product that's called virgin again from China. In the worst scenario, they go to a clinic and they became virgin in five minutes again. And those people are waiting for the virgin, sorry, to the young women to give a sign. 
and why the son will be called Emmanuel. Why he is giving such a name? Unless he is God with us. You know, uh, you know, in Isaiah seven fourteen. Like you know, uh, sometime uh, when you read when you read the Bible, you will see that there is a scattered information because Isaiah is giving us m more signs about the person who is going to be born and what is his description, what he will do, what is the purpose of this person. So when in Isaiah it says that the Spirit of the Lord will rest on him. It, the Spirit of the Lord. How many men in the history of Jews, the Spirit of the Lord will rest on them? And how many of you deserve to be having the, Lord, the, the Spirit of the Lord to rest? And those people until now, they are waiting for the Messiah to come in the top of a donkey. In the time where we have cars are without drivers, in the time where the Israeli they are they, they have an, an amazing innovation, electric cars, electric airplane, electric drones. I mean everything. Everything is like beyond imagination. They are waiting for the Messiah to come riding a donkey. Now, this remind me of the Mohammedan waiting for. Gog and Magog come in attacking Mecca and they will throw their arrows. And then the Muslims will use the wooden arrow, wooden arrow, to cook in it for seven years. So in the year 2023, if, the, if Gog and Magog they come today, they will use arrows made of wood. In the time we have drawn, in the time we have all kind of a crazy weapon who don't even need a person to guide it <laughs> they will use arrows those who they are those jews in isaiah 29 let me open this one actually in isaiah 29 who is the one if we go to the Talmud, you can go right now and search what the Talmud says about Jesus. You will see in the stupid Talmud, the book of the devil, it says there that Jesus, the, of the Christians, they don't consider him to be Christ, remember. He went to Egypt and he learned to magic and this is how he was able to do miracles. Will that mean that Moses, when he did his miracle, it was just a magic? Even the word magic is mentioned there in the verse. In order to avoid who is Jesus, they deny that he is the Son of God. They could not, even imagine, the enemy of Jesus could not deny that Jesus did amazing miracles. But they claim it was, he learned magic. But you know, if you have little brain, little brain, you will notice that you cannot learn magic to make the blind see. Not only we don't believe in such a thing, but who is the donkey in the world when I believe that somebody, he go and he learn a trick. And what the trick do? Make a human being who is blind see. Look how simple it is. Very easy. You know? I will teach you a trick. You make somebody born blind to see, it's a magic. This is who they are. Not, you know, like actually, all of Islam, by the way, all of Islam, a fairy tale story is most of it is coming from those stupid people. Where Muhammad he got the story of the ant speaking to Solomon from their book, not from the Bible, from their fiction books. All the stories 
Muhammad he got which is so silly and we laugh at it it is coming from those dummies where Muhammad he got the story that if a person he piss in his shoes God will torture him from their books God will not torture them for taking interest God will not torture them for bringing the Ahmadiyya and whatever they call them, you know, what they call this, the, the biggest temple. I don't know what kind of, I forget, I forget the name. Uh, um, anyone remember the name? They have, they build a temple uh, for a religion which is a mix of many religions. Big, huge, in the top of the hill of Jerusalem. They are trying to strip Christians from their churches. Yet they bring people who they are totally pagan to build the biggest temple you can imagine in the most important part of Jerusalem. I forgot the name of the religion. It's a it's a mix of uh, no, not the rose, not the rose, no, uh, and not Ahmadiyya too. 